How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create a slider that can adjust any audio source volume. So this can be used in, for example, a main menu to allow users to basically change the overall game volume. So to show you how it works, just click run here. So my audio source is running, I then adjust the slider and the volume goes down. Cool, let's get into it. All right, let's get started. So I've created an empty scene here, and the first thing I want to do is just change the main camera to a solid color, and just making that dark, just to make it more visible. Um, next thing we want to do is then add our slider, just like that. We then want to also add an empty game object, and we can call this music player. Once we've done that, we then want to add our audio source, and I need some audio, so I'm going to drag in my song. Um, and then you just drag your song into this audio clip section. Cool. So if I run this, it should actually play the song. And this is because its play on awake is selected. Um, so for now, we actually want to untick this because we don't want to play it on awake. We want to do that all within the script. So let's start getting into the script side of things. I'm just going to create a folder called scripts just to keep it organized. Um, and we can create this new script and we can call it music player script. Awesome. Just tick, double click that, open up Visual Studio. It always takes some time. Cool. So once we've done that, um, the first thing we want to do is define a public, let's spell that right, public audio source and we can call this audio source for now. This is where we're going to be defining what audio we want to change the volume for. We then want to define a private float for uh, music volume and we want to leave it at 1F as the default. This will be what our volume of the audio source would be. So basically on the start um, we then want to play the sound. Um, we don't have to do this, I just like to do it within the code, just keep it all in one place. Um, you could always just leave, keep that play on loop, um, play on awake variable ticked, and it just does the same thing. Um, then we're going to go on the update, each frame per second, we want to update the volume by the music volume variable. So every frame per second, we're going to be updating the audio source volume by this music volume. And we are going to be changing that using our slider. So that is where we create this new function. So public void update, uh, let's make that lowercase, update uh, volume function. We want to define a type for float, and we can call this volume. In here, we then go music volume is equal to volume. Cool, so just like that, we're going to be updating our audio source volume by this variable that's being passed through. Um, and we're going to be updating this update volume function from our, our slider. So that's all we need to do with our code side of things. So what we need to do is click on our music player game object, just apply the script to that. We want to then drag the audio source to our audio source here. Um, then on the slider, we want to change this value to one. So that's the default value of the that's the default volume of the audio source. So you can see here, the volume is always set to one. Um, we then want to just click here. We want to drag our music player to the object uh, music player script, and there's this update volume. So what this is going to do when we adjust the slider it'll pass the value into our script, which will then update the volume of the audio source. So if I click player, you can see it's playing at full volume right now. Then when I adjust it, the volume goes down. Sweet. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.